What's up? Welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing swell. You should because Affinity Photo just released version 2.6 with a bunch of updates, but the two main ones being the subject selection tool and the object selection tool. And we're going to get into those. Now, if your screen doesn't look like mine, it's because you don't, <clears throat> you don't live here. No, that's not why. It might just look different. So if you want to set yours back to default so they look the same, so we can go through this, go up to Window, Studio, and select Reset Studio. Now, I installed the update, but I don't see any new tools here. Nothing looks new to me. But, well, what we got to do first is install them because they run locally on your machine, not from the cloud. So to do that, you're going to go up to your settings. On my Mac, I'm going to go up to Affinity Photo 2, and I'm going to click on Settings. Now, you're going to look for this Machine Learning Models little tab there. And you need to install these two options right here. Mine installed pretty fast, um, and it should for you too, unless you are on a dial-up uh, connection from 1989. But that's cool. I was there. It was a good year. Okay, cool. So now we have those installed, but I still don't see the tools. What we have to do now is go up to View, select Customize Tools, and we got to find our object selection tool, which is right here. Looks like an owl or a guy in a gas mask. I think it's probably an owl though. Let's click and drag it over to our toolbar and drop it off and then click close. Cool. So we've got that tool. Now the subject selection tool is actually just in your menu. If you go up to select, select subject is right there. So let's put this thing to the test. Let's go over to our stock tab on the right and let's just search for dog because I like dogs. Let's click on this guy right here. He looks very cool. Maybe his first day of school looks like one of those school photos. And let's shrink him down a little bit so we can just grab part of him. Maybe something like that. That's fair. And now let's try using the object selection tool. So if I click on it right here, I'm going to make sure that he's selected in the layers panel. And I have some options here. There's new and there's add, uh, there's uh, subtract mode and Depeche mode. No, that's not real, not Depeche mode. Uh, anyways, so if I go over here, you can see with these green lines, it's trying to select the background or it's trying to select the dog. So let's select the dog and you can see with the lines around it, it did a pretty good job, but this is fur on a background, so it's always a bit tricky. So let's click on the refine button at the top here. And now with our refine selection, our matte brush is selected. Let's start painting around this dog. We'll just paint her over the edges of his fur here, just kind of like this, just to get Affinity a second look and say, hey, it was a good first selection here, but let's go through his fur and let's see if you can do a better job. So let's try that and just see what it looks like. And there we go. And let's see what it did. Let's change our overlay to white so we can see it in the background. Now you can see over here it did a pretty good job. Up here, uh, a bit weird by his leg. Looks like maybe he had some jam stuck on his leg and then it got stuck to the couch. But overall, a pretty good selection. Let's hit cancel and let's try this now using the select subject tool. So let's go up here and let's make sure he's selected. Let's go select and select subject. And let's see what it does. Again, pretty good selection. Looks very similar. But this time I noticed the refine button is not here which uh, I don't like, but you can always find your refine button if needed by going up to select, and then you can go down to refine edges. And let's just brush through here again. It's probably going to look the same or similar. You never know. It's always kind of a different look with this every time you do it. But let's go through here and let's try that. And we'll put it to a white mat. And uh, I think it looks very similar, very close. So pretty cool. Uh, this is for, this is a tricky one. So it did a pretty good job, even though that's a tricky photo. Let's try one other really quick one. Let's go, let's just search, um, I don't know, car, because I've, I've been in one of those. Uh, let's select car. Now let's pick, um, I don't know, let's pick something different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's pick, sorry, I didn't plan this out, guys. I was just excited when it got released. You know what? Let's do this because we can do the object selection tool to see how it actually works. Now this not the greatest photo, not the best quality. Let's try object selection first. So let's go to object selection. Let's see what it picks out here. If I go to the layers panel, select it. So let's see the sky, part of the building, this plant, this car. Let's click on the car. All right, that's cool. Let's click on refine. And let's just go over with our brush a little bit. Let's zoom in here. Oh, let's refine that again. And again, it doesn't like the sky and the um, the sky and the sea there. So let's go to foreground and let's change this brush a little bit and see what it does. Okay, that's a little better. And now let's go back to matte and let's try to refine it here. 
Okay, not bad. Looks a little dirty, but let's go to white mat. And you can see it needs some cleanup around, whoops, around the uh, top here. It's a little messy. Not the best photo, but not bad. Let's uh, click cancel. Let's click that. And now let's go to select subject and see what that does. Select subject. Bam. Let's see what it does. Okay, so now it doesn't really know what we're looking for. This uh, little window here, this plant, or this uh, car. So uh, I, I do like select object better than subject because sometimes it doesn't know what the subject is. But that is a quick overview of how that works. It looks pretty cool. Um, now let's do something. They updated the color picker tool, which I use a lot, which is really cool. So let's go to this over here and let's search for color. Color. And let me just find something. Uh, this girl right here. Uh, very fancy, a little, little bit strong on the makeup. Uh, and let's see how this works. Now, they said you don't have to reload it in the color picker, which I'm a fan of. So let's grab some shapes. I'm just going to grab some of these uh, squares here and just give them whatever colors. Let's just do this. Uh, duplicate it a couple times. Now, what you just have to do is click on the color picker, bring it over, select the color, go back to the color picker, and assign it that way. But they're saying now you don't have to do that. So let's first click this uh, square and I want to make it say this color here. So we'll click on the color picker in the top right, click, drag, hover over top of the color we want, let it go, and then it changes to that color. I love that. That's so much easier. Let's click on the next box, grab our color picker, click, drag, we'll maybe grab this kind of blue over here, release, and it becomes that color. Click on this square. Let's do it one last time. Click, drag, do a color on our lips here, maybe that. Let it go. And now we've assigned those colors from that photo and that easily. I like that. I'm a big fan of that. Now, I know they've done some pen tool updates and some things like that in Affinity Designer, but these are the big ones for photo, which I use the most. So try it out. Let me know if it works on your machine better, worse. If you like the object selection tool better than the subject selection tool, let me know down below. Uh, if you're looking for awesome brushes for Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer, check out my site by designmethod.com. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I will see you uh, in the next one.